hello welcome to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you already watched my videos my channel is not only about interoperative monitoring it is about travel cooking gardening in this video i am going to show how and how quick MEP that is motor evoke potential amplitude will affect if TIVA is switched and put the patient on gas inhalation anesthesia. I made this video because of the request from one of the anesthetist in this screen you can see very good MEP responses with very good amplitude this is before switching off the TIVA and put the patient on gas inhalation anesthesia now I'm going to show you how the MEP responses are affected and how quick you can see the changes. So as I said, this is before switched off the TIVA. So you can see very good MEP responses from all the channels. Next MEP recording was taken at 14.29. So this one, the screen MEP was recorded at 14.29. First recording was done at 14.31 that is after switched off the TIVA and put the patient on gas. So that is 14.31. So this is at 14.31 the MEP was recorded and there is no much changes in MEP amplitude at all. So I recorded the second MEP at around 1437. 1437 that is approximately five minutes after we switched off the TIVA and put the patient on the gas. So here you can see MEP is not that good or the MEP amplitude is affected in almost all the channels apart from few channels. Still you can see some MEP responses but it is very low in amplitude and I made another recording around 1440 1440 that is 10 minutes after switched off the TIVA and put the patient on the gas inhalation anesthesia. Now you can see further reduction in the MEP amplitude. And I made another recording around 1445. That is 15 minutes after switching off the TIVA and put the patient on the gas. Now you can see almost all channels MEP responses are affected or we can say it is completely flat. 
So it took 15 minutes to see the changes. That is, there is no response at all. The first changes we started noticed at 5 minutes. Slight reduction in the amplitude. And 10 minutes further reduction in the amplitude. And the final one after 15 minutes that is completely flat. So it takes 15 minutes to see the complete changes. From this you can easily understand how quick MEP responses affected by the gas. I hope you like this video. Please write your comments in the comment box. Share this video if you like. If you like, please subscribe my channel. I'll make another interesting interoperative monitoring video very soon. That is depends upon the comments. I receive. Thank you for watching this video.